Hi guys, um, welcome to this latest episode of Monday's Rizeni with Pretoria Psychologist. And um, this is the first video I'll be doing um, in a series where I'll just be speaking on the theory and the practice of uh, mindfulness. So what has inspired this video is just when one reflects on where we are now since um, the first lockdown began in March. It's almost been a year now and since we were just exposed to this and we had to adopt this new lifestyle. And um, yeah, I think a lot of us can agree that you know it hasn't been easy, life hasn't been easy since this lockdown began. We have had to sacrifice a lot a lot of our plans, a lot of our goals, you know, we had to make shift and change routes, change plans. And I think that hasn't been easy. You know, um, I mean, if I can just share, for example, when the, lockdown, when the lockdown began, I had to immediately go home and I had to assist, you know, with the family business, for example, um, of a boarding house for the bit for the most part of 2020 and you know yeah you can imagine <laughs> um and i think a lot of us have similar stories you know um others have even just worse worse of stories um you know um loss of jobs loss of livelihood um you know and having to go back home you know uh, not all of us uh, you, may find it or found it easy being at home you know and so i think when one reflects on the past 10 months or so um i think a common theme has is that life just hasn't been easy you know um and we have had to be resilient you know um i think due to the to the loss of life you know that this virus and this pandemic has brought constantly having to mourn constantly having to to grieve you know and it's not only just loss of life um that we've had to mourn you know loss of jobs loss of friendships loss of relationships loss of anniversaries loss of opportunities you know like there's so much that uh, we have had to endure essentially you know and at the same time we have had to be strong not only just for ourselves to be strong be a support system for our loved ones, for our friends, our communities, you know, and yeah, I think when one looks at where we are and what one where I'm mean, sorry, where what we've been through, you know, one can see and one can feel that, you know, it's it's been very difficult. It's been a very traumatizing year. It's been a very difficult year and yeah, I think this is what essentially, you know, prompted um this episode and this topic on mindfulness as a philosophy and a practice, you know, I think um, just because we are resilient, you know, doesn't mean that we are not suffering, you know, and with resilience, one of the things, one of the impacts that may have had, that may have on us is that you might find that because we are so used to being resilient, we may have been performing and going on with life. Um, from a position whereby we are not there's a disconnect between ourselves and what we're doing so for example if you've had to move back home and you've had to work you know work at home and do all of these chores you may have done so in a from this stance whereby it's almost like you're just doing you know you're not you're not even there, you know, in your head, you were somewhere else and it's almost like your body is just on this mode, it's doing whatever it needs to be done, you know, um, just for life to, to continue and to get through the days essentially. Okay, and over time that may have negative consequences um, just for ourselves and for our relationship, firstly with ourselves, you know, as well as with other people as well, you know, this disconnect and just living in a reactive mode where you don't even feel in control of your life anymore, you don't even feel alive anymore, you're just doing, just surviving and just living, you know. And so um, in my next video I will do a thorough um, definition and uh, and broaden, uh, elaborate on the philosophy of and the practice of mindfulness. But I think just broadly, or I mean just briefly I mean, 
mindfulness um, essentially involves um, shift shifting our attention and bringing our attention into the present the present moment and to our present awareness and also involves doing so without judgment without evaluating and essentially without being overwhelmed um, by this present uh, by the present awareness and the present moment um, essentially okay so um, mindfulness involves then just being in the present where we are with what we're doing and doing so or being so without you know feeling the need to, uh, to just distract or jump or, or being or being overwhelmed by doing so right so from this definition i mean or from this really one um, can see or can understand that it's not a one-off thing it's not a decision that you just make that okay from today onwards i'll just you know it's a mindfulness it's a it's a skill so it's something that is practiced and it's something that is is enhanced through practice okay and um mindfulness offers um sure lots of benefits um, especially in the situations where we are and i'll be elaborating further on that in my next video but i think um just being or shifting your attention and being in the present awareness being in the present moment that allows you um, to experience or to, to heighten your, your your experiences through your senses you know um, um, through emotions okay um, it also um, assists us in, in, in better managing and understanding our emotions you know by allowing ourselves to feel them to understand being aware of what we're feeling essentially also improves our decision making as well you know um, because we we shift away from being in controlled by the situation and our emotions and we start to gain an understanding that our emotions are not or our emotions do should not have to influence essentially our choices our decisions okay and ultimately the practice and the philosophy of mindfulness will have an impact on our relationships both with ourselves and with our support system or with, with other people as well which may be or which may provide um, this numerous benefits um, just for where we are and what we are living through as a country essentially with this um, coronavirus and just the norm you know since um, we first had to just deal and to, to respond essentially to this new life um, as a result of um, this pandemic and so yeah this is where i will leave it for today and in my next video um, i hope you guys will join me where i'll just be elaborating further on this practice and this philosophy of mindfulness and the, the potential benefits that um, mindfulness will bring us okay then until then please stay safe um, please remember to wear a mask especially in public and to always sanitize your hands and to also maintain social distancing um, when you are with others. Okay then, bye.